Are we open? We're starting. Um, we got gifts for each other. You're on the Jersey Shore. Happy Friday, everyone, by the way. Uh, it's out and about. It's me and Joey. The world's being taken over by aliens. I'll get into it later. I have that whole fucking thing. I, have, right I know now. everything. I know everything. I have I have alien with me. We're going to talk about that. Um, Joey, you bought some gifts for us. I bought some gifts for you while you were on the shore. Mine were from 28th and 7th. Why don't you go ahead and gift us, and then I'll follow up with mine. Well, I don't know who gets what. Or yours what? is going to be better, so I'm going to do mine first. I'm going to let okay, you I see. I saw the man selling those. I didn't okay, see what they said, don't though. don't ruin it. Do they take Venmo? No, this is Coexist. Oh. Now, this is for Nana. Okay. Oh. Now Nana's feeling us. Now this is that for ladies that don't shave their legs and wear sundresses like with big baggy yes. the moon moves. This is for like green haired dykes. And now this is for Marty. Hey. hey, 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 hey. Okay. Now, now I'm going to let you pick, which I only got two. I'm sorry. I only had 10 bucks cash on me. He doesn't take Venmo. Which one do you want? Oh, he, doesn't take, he doesn't take Venmo. No. Whatever, whatever no. she doesn't want. Marty? Clergy one's kind of funny. Clergy is for Marty. I'll take the lesbian one. We'll take that. Will you wear it now for a little bit? I Just guess. so we can do this. And now you got presents for us as well. Pop on over to YouTube, everyone, if you're listening, because we're going to have a visual show today. It's just me and Joey. We listen to you. That's what we're doing. We're having fun. It's Friday. I hope everyone enjoyed the Big Cat episode. Uh, pull out what you got here in this Whole Foods. Well, I got a couple of things there. Cause I, the, the, the Jersey Shore is very um, a very progressive place, I'd say. In terms of what? You know. Being cult- unapologetically alt-right? Yeah, I was very surprised. But I was taken back. That's why. I, that's why I got into the what's the local gift shop, the local boutique. Everyone, close their eyes. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Is this for me? This is for. I have two of these, so I'm gonna one for me, one for Marty, one for you, or one for Sandra. One for you. We gotta see. Ready? Time, uh, uh, time to open. Open. <laughs> <laughs> I identify as non-binary. My profounds are FJB and Let's Go Brandon. Pronoun. And this, what I say, pro. You got excited. And this is what um, you know. You'll be wearing this to. I'm wearing. I'm wearing this to the Jersey Shore premiere. Fantastic, <laughs> Joe. That's beautiful. <laughs> I also got this. Close your eyes, everyone. This is I got for Sandra. I had Sandra in mind when I got this one. Hmm. Okay, open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is your hair. Color your hair. You ever? Tro- That's the color your hair is right now. I know. The high <laughs> sun. Was, you remember trolls? The little trolls you would get in the '90s. This yeah. is troll hair. Come here. Yeah. This is literally troll hair. Well, these were these these were like some. Of the, they had all different ones. I posted them on my Instagram. They had all different options, and I couldn't pick. So I got the same. I got two of the same, um, because I think they're the funniest. I think that that looks great, and I think that people need to not be afraid of blasting their political ideology, despite the repercussions it may have on the algorithm on YouTube. Yeah, you look fantastic, Joe. You really Thank do. You. And there's one more thing in here. That's the same shirt, and this is the same shirt. So, but the thing is, I have no. I, I, I what's funny to me is. No, she's I never queen. like I never give a fuck about anything in life as much as these people care about as much as President Tar- Trump trips. about President Trump. They are so like like who you have to be so, like who cares about who the president is? Yeah, they don't do anything. Even if you do care, even like even if you do care, but like to well, make no, merch okay. out of it and like and to like put flags up and like sticker it everywhere and like have gift shops about it. Like I mean, who cares that much? I get it. If you're trying, you're to that invested. Buck. That's the most white. That's the most white trash thing. Po- being political is the most white trash thing. Yes. ever. It's either highbrow or it's it's being political. If you're poor and political, you're white trash. You're only yeah. you only care about politics political. if you're poor. When you're rich, no. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to you. No. Or if you're ultra rich, you care about politics because you're trying to get them to bend the rules so you can get more money. I'm trying the to get you to club. bend over. Who are you trying to get to bend over, baby? Remember when I used to flirt with you and I got yelled at in the group chat by who? By you. What did I say? He said we had to cut all that out. Stop flirting with me. When was this? Years ago? <laughs> this is before I had my, my lobotomy. <laughs> <laughs> this is before he was Rosemary Kennedy. She took the knife around and turned her brains into goo. Do you like my new fitted? Is it a fitted? It's a fitted hat. No, no, it's not fitted. My new hat. Yeah. yeah. I only shop at Culture Kings. They have the best hats. Yeah, the no, it's the good best store. hats that's ever. Good store, Besides yeah. the Barstool store, Culture Kings is my favorite place to shop for hats. Mm-hmm. I don't think you. What is Culture Kings? It's the best place to buy hats. They have, they have the flyest fits, the flyest hats. The flyest fits. The, the flyest, flyest hats. hats. Look at this. I like that. I'll buy it. I got a here. I got a baby blue Celtics one coming. Baby blue and and, and uh, tan canvas. That's very Cameron early two thousands. It's a baby it's, blue Celtics. They have, it's, a, it's a baby blue collection. It's a Nuggets. It's hat. every it's every it's every city with baby blue and then ivory. Mm. It is chef's kiss. Aren't those they're very J- expensive? Jay Z's kids names. Celtics blue and what's Ivy blue Ivy. Oh, blue Ivy. Oh, blue speaking Ivy. of Jay Z, um, I am going to be rubbing elbows with some very highbrow people this Sunday. Oh God, Who? I just got a message. You want to read the message? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. This is Joey's. Pee I was minding game. my own business. I was minding my P's and Q's, and then I get I get a ding from none other than my biological father's new wife. Th- then your cardiologist. 
He said, take a seat. <laughs> okay. Who DM me? What'd they say? Silvana Mojica. Mm-hmm. Mojica? Mm-hmm. How do you say that last name? Mojica? The J is a H. Silvana, Silvana Mojica Silvana M. the third. We'll go, we'll go Silvana M. Um, she said, please leave me alone. Keep your name out my mouth. Mm-hmm. You don't know me. Scrub. Scrub. <laughs> she said, I don't know. She said, are you going to Beyonce on Sunday with Tart? Joey said, yes. Are you? She said, yes. You hearted it. She said, you said, okay, all caps. Amazing. I was terrified that I wasn't going to go, but I think. I wasn't going to know anyone. Anyway, basically Tart is, you know, my favorite company. So I'm on the list now um, of influencers that gets invited to things. So oh I'll be there. Silvana <laughs> will be there. I, I'm hoping that Uncle Dave shows up. Hey, I wish she tags along with Uncle Didn't Dave. Didn't you say he was going to? Well, I don't know if he's coming or not, but why wouldn't he come? Because he it's a cool fucking Tarte cosmetic cosmetics strip. It's to the Beyonce concert. He goes he's to Taylor Swift. He's a he's a Swifty. He's not a he's not part of the Beehive. You and you, he's not a Barb. You know that. Are you a Barb, a Swifty, or a Beehive? Do you think Uncle Dave's a be a Beehive or a, be, a, be, a part of the Beehive or the or the, or the um, Swifties? Yeah, he's a well, Swifty. He's definitely a Swifty. But I think he. I think everyone appreciates Beehive. I'm not a Barb. No. I'm not bad like a Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. Do you remember the Barbie? Baby, Stacy, Lizzie, Macy. <laughs> Do you remember the Barbie that we saw when we were at the MTV Video Awards? That little queen? Yeah. <laughs> the Barbie. was dancing. This little like 110 pound Asian dude just was the biggest Barbie in the world. But, uh, but I, and I'm going to rub the elbows with um, likes of Alex Earl um, <laughs> and all different people. Well, I'm very happy for you, Joe. It's I am too. I'm an influencer. Great. Are you going to, what are you going to wear? Because I, I don't know if this is necessarily the look. The beater might be a look, but the doily top, I think, can go. This is a lace front top. La- okay. <laughs> I have a shot at Bloomingdale's. My essay at Bloomingdale's, I had like a shot them out your, there. Your essay? My sales associate. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like Spanish. My essay. Your no, essay. my essay at Bloomingdale's got, this is from Sandro of Paris. Thank you. Talk it's, to it's, him. It was picked dressed for me. Is it one of one? Now you're a Todd Snyder queen. <laughs> now, I'm, now I've been a Snyder queen for many years. Yeah. Now you're a Sandra queen. I, you know, I do like this. It looks good. You can always rock a beater under a shirt better than I ever could. Well, because I can fill it out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Tritella. Um, <laughs> I can fill it out in all, I can fill it out in all the right Oh, places. well, has I here since I was down the shore with- um, I saw you Monday, then you went to the shore, you fuck. I was with- we talked about my, my trip down the shore with Tommy Smokes and- Oh yeah, we talked okay. about that. And then you went back down. I went back down yesterday because I had to work. I got to pay these bills. I have to, to, to afford nice things for my, my team. <laughs> <laughs> so I started referring to you guys as my team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have my team reach out and we'll see what we, any brand collabs we can do. Oh, it's so cringe. <laughs> any some people, brand collabs. People call, it, call their people their, their team. Their team, yeah. It's so like my that's team. A, that's your sister. Even when they're like the out... <laughs> Your sister. That's your little sister that you took her lunch money. To, so you do, they do things for you. That's not what Remy <laughs> Bader does. She has her little sister. Do we? We should get Remy Bader on the show. She's good friends. Oh, we should have Remy come on. She's great friends with. Bri- I really like her. Despite she's my great friend, should dis- I text her? Despite her being very shady to me when I met her at Brianna Chicken Fries birthday, but I'm hoping. Why we was can she get shady over that. to you? Well, I went to shake her hand and introduce myself. I saw her eyeing me, and she said, "Oh, I know who you are." And she kind of turned and walked away. I think that's her. That's her way of being kind. I think. Okay. No, I'm. You know, no hard feelings. It's just you know, kind of sad. I'll text someone her. you, can... someone you look up to. You know, she'll probably be there at the concert one. at the Beyonce concert. Well, what, can you smooth things over for us? Because I've always liked her very much. Yeah, I didn't know there was a problem. I didn't know. I don't think trouble in paradise. She just kind of maybe because you know, you're two off. budding plus size swimsuit models. Like that could be it. That you you don't want her taking the gigs. Yeah, <laughs> and it also it could also be because I'm trying to hire her sister. What does your sister do? Her sister does what she does, right? What I don't know her sister. I know she had a sister. Yeah, I think she has a sister. Doesn't she bring her sister all around ever? No, I couldn't tell you. I don't. don't. That's me and Silvana. You and we're Sil? sisters. Yeah. What if Sil says to you, "Let's go back to Dee's house"? Are you there? I wouldn't go because I don't think he, unless he invited me, it's, it gave me he's, permission. He's, he's been very vocal that he doesn't want me in his well, property. Newsflash for you. Newsflash for you. He ain't right. <laughs> but, but if Sills invites you, I think you should go. He's been very vocal. He doesn't he's want me in his property. He's been very vocal. He doesn't. We've tried Miami. We've, we've tried every house. He's, at. he's said absolutely not. What if Bay invites me back? That's what I just said. Sills. You got to no, I, Beyonce. I'm so, Oh, miss? Queen B. <laughs> what if the queen invites you backstage? All of a sudden, Joey disappears. He opens a Beyonce show. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen. You FaceTime and it's me and Beyonce in the back so sipping Ace, Ace of Spades champagne. I would fucking fall over. Would you, you would, you, would you admit that you're on my team? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> to get to Beyonce? <laughs> I would fucking kiss your, I would lick your feet to get to Beyonce. Okay. Or you go in and it's, uh, your beat is more immaculate than Beyonce's. 
We'll see. So I, Mamita's was such a hit down the shore this weekend. Uh-huh. I brought it to the shore house. We had, I got a huge cooler. I filled it with ice and all the Mamita's and then I just put a bottle of tequila and a bottle of vodka on the side and we can make, it was a create your own adventure party. It was so good and everyone just, everyone just loved it. We love Mamita's. We absolutely love Mamita's here. You guys already know that. That's why we are living mucho with Mamita's. It's our favorite tequila seltzer. Now you had mucho sun, you had mucho music and you had mucho tequila and it comes in seven delicious favors like Joey mentioned. Joey, what are they? They're, they're mango, pineapple, Lime, a um, new cocktail pack, Paloma, spicy marg, classic marg, and tequila Marie Sunrise. Um, guys, we're not steering you wrong. It is so good. Trust us. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Just straight up tequila lime is my that's favorite. That's what you drink one. on the golf course. Yes. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll yeah, get buckets of Amitas and yeah. bring them around. Um, it's better than your boring, regular, old uh, seltzer. Make sure you try out some Amitas tequila seltzer. The drink of the summer made with real tequila and only 95 calories. Find Amitas at drinkmamitas.com or order on GoPuff, drinkmamitas.com or order on GoPuff. It's Heart Cosmetics. Um, we're going on a little party bus. I hope there's gift bags though, to be honest. Yeah, we know that. Beyonce's really fine and all, but I really just want the makeup. That's why you're going, obviously. So I don't... I'd be curious to see like what kind of boosts, Luke's. what kind of boosts like in sales these influencer trips have, or if it's just like purely marketing because they're spending, a, they're doing a fuck ton of money. To I think it's that- purely marketing. It's like when Jack companies McCall- like sponsor stadiums and stuff. There's yeah. no way that that really returns the investment. It's more of just a flex. Like, oh, I, yeah. What is the marketing strategy? That's what I want. Just know. a flex on them. I think. Are people seeing like my friend Maureen, who's the founder? Um, she says that she just wants people to have fun and create a great environment, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, Maureen. And that's why I've loved Maureen for, all, for, for a long time. Maureen, not, Maureen, I've been for close for a long time. <laughs> so most, so most started it. <laughs> <laughs> Mo started the whole thing. Okay. So back in 94, <laughs> Mo had a caked on foundation. Okay. And it started to peel. So what she did <laughs> was she said, I want something that's light, affordable, <laughs> and approachable. Fun, fun, affordable, and 30. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be good. I'm happy for you. Beyonce is a bucket list concert, I think, for people to go to. Now, I am a little bit concerned. Should um, I dress like the Black Panthers from, um, the, from the, um, the, the um, from Forrest Gump? Super Bowl? Stand by. Stand by. I'm a little concerned on the culture clash from you because yeah. I know you lean right. And I know. <laughs> Should I wear this you, concert? I know you lean right. <laughs> I know you lean right. I just want you to bury your political beliefs while you're there for the sake of peace. I want you to enjoy yourself without talking Ukraine, without talking abortion, without talking the goddamn border. And I don't know if you're going to be able or to do feline it. feline AIDS. <laughs> Are you going to be able to do it? I mean, if I'm going to judge, should I say ketamine? Should I get it in K-hole? I took ketamine. At the Beyonce concert? No. <laughs> Joe, we look over Joey's like this. Slumped over. Have you ever done K? Of course you have. Yes. From the 90s. I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I take ecstasy and then we do K with it. It's like when, you're, when your ecstasy was like wearing off a little bit, you would take K to get that euphoric yeah. feeling again. I did I that. Used to feel like I was walking on marshmallows. Like, whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Did, uh, <laughs> Marty, have you ever done ketamine? No. That's like my final frontier. Marty's done trank. <laughs> Crocodile. That's very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Well, I'm excited for you this weekend. On? I'm going to my dead friends. Yeah, so we'll ask you that. What are you sipping on? Oh, that sound is fucking just, I apologize if you're in the car mute it so you don't have to hear him slurp like an animal listen it's hot out today I just have a cool refreshing <sighs> cool refreshing or a palmer it's my favorite drink of summer come on come on I was drinking down the shore I was drinking them all day long I add vodka to it is there booze in this? No, it's not booze in that one yet. But maybe I should switch the liquor. I love, t- t- so I'm taking it on our Palmer. It's classic lemonade, and I, half lemonade, half iced tea. Pause. It's, a, it's the most pause. refreshing drink in the world. Pause, pause, pause. Did you just say you're going to switch to liquor? No, I'm going to switch the liquor. Oh, switch the switch liquor. the liquor. I was going to say, now Nana's had her liquor before. No, I had to film something today. Um, speaking of liquor, I'm going to- Liquor up front, poker in the rear? <laughs> liquor up front, poker in the rear. I'm going to my dead friend's golf charity thing today. I'll be there tomorrow. Marty's going to put two links in the description. One is for my friend who's a teacher who needs school supplies. I'm doing charity. And two is for my friend who's dead from CTE-related complications. If you want to donate to that, it'd be great. But my thing is this. We're going to the golf course. When is it too early to start- drinking i think golf courses are like airport rules yeah in the morning like if they if they serve it drink it so if i'm there at, if we have like a 9 30 shotgun start, oh like i can, 930 drink, is, I can drink at 9 30 i thought you're talking at 6 30 in the no. morning <laughs> oh no, no i can drink at 9 30 a.m on a golf course yes yeah. like especially heavily. during the summer um i mean that probably wouldn't be smart to like come no. out of the gate like just fully loaded but like have a breakfast cocktail yeah and then you have and then if you get tired you have a bag and you do that around noon 
Got it. I would do if I was drinking at nine thirty a.m. on an outdoor golf course. Think is it is it chic or is it white trash? It's chic. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's. It, it's not chic. It's a nice average golf course. Private. Nice. Course. What are yeah. they serving the drinks in? What are they serving? The, I'm, I don't, so I imagine You're drinking on the golf course and the and the club. So I'm not even fucking playing. I'm going to like hang out and like help out a little, but I'm going to be drive around the golf drink cart, which is like my favorite thing in the world to do because you just drive around and give people drinks. I know what I'm getting. It'll probably be styrofoam. It'll It'll probably be styrofoam. Okay. But to answer your question, if it's a mixed cocktail and it's a high class environment during the summer in the morning, I would have a breakfast cocktail. I would get, I, I would get you gin. Bloody Mary. For no, sure. no, no, bacon. no. Bacon. He'd have a big fucking piece of fried chicken. No. Might be too hot for that. No, I'm having, I'll tell you what you're going to get. Thick you're going to get tomato juice. You're going to yeah. get gin, Prosecco, and orange juice together with, with, a, with, a, with a lime wedge. It's, it's like a French delicious. 75. Oh, you know French a, 75, but with, yeah. with orange. The French 75. I think the last time I had one was at your house and I was wearing a singlet. And the year was, tw- the year was 2021, <laughs> mid 2021. Mm-hmm. Transfusions are the best golf course drink. What is that? Uh, oh my God. It's, it's good. grape juice. Can you blur out trans, please? That offends me. It's grape juice, Sprite, and vodka. Yeah. What? Uh-huh. It's fuck. A real grape juice? Yeah. yeah. Like a uh, grape juice. Like grape juice. Welch's grape. Yeah. Yes. Joey, it is. Oh, a grape juice drink. Oh, you know who made that? Who? I have this crush on this hot guy in TikTok. He's like an old man. He's like, his name's Daryl. He goes, he goes, I'm the Blackstone. He goes, you know. Are you kidding no. me? You never saw him? No. His name's Daryl. Called Daryl Cooks. He's like some like, like some like middle aged dad. But I have such a crush on him. I've you actually I actually pleasured myself to him, the thought of him. But he's he's always making golf outfits. He's sponsored by Robeck, and and Bacon Up, which is one of the greasy one of the things the greasy uses on the Blackstone. <laughs> we need to get sponsored. We need to get sponsored by a general food product. Not even like a brand. What if we're just sponsored by like Bacon, or by milk, or by? I'm gonna get sponsored by Kerrygold Butter. Kerrygold butter. Is that the Irish butter? <laughs> it's, it's the best butter. Salted or on? Of different preparations. When I'm baking, I, I never use salted. <laughs> <laughs> Slimmer, I don't talk politics behind the chair. No, I don't use salted butter. I only use Kerrygold butter. Yeah, why are you so obsessed with Kerrygold? Have you had my food? Is that what it is? It's the Kerrygold butter every it's time. The pot, it's, it keeps the pasta t- sauce together. It keep, you know, get the butter. That's It's called a glossy sauce. Can we do glossy dinner next visit. week? Where? You don't, cook, don't don't come here. I mean, no Bennett Havana nights. You bullshit. Cook, you cook. That was your. If you want to learn idea. how to do a party pony, go over to Alex Bennett's um, website, and you can yeah. see. I want to have it. Well, let's do it. Let's do a recording and a dinner at Joey's. Oh, I gotta. Oh yeah. Oh, I would do that. I would well, do can that. Can you come over and show me how to co- how, show me how to record myself cooking? Yeah, because that's what we have to just do. Our, our boss told us we have to make a cooking video. So who's our boss? My boss. Who? Cake bass. Cake Bass. He's not, he doesn't have cakes. Yes, he does. Jake, Jake Bass has an ass. No. Jake ass. Does yes, he, he have does. cakes? He's thick. I don't know. You can say that because you guys are both Jewish. <laughs> I'm sure he's thick. I don't know. Jake's a skinny guy. A bald guy. I think this, This. I think what we're doing is wading into the waters of sexual harassment. So maybe we should just kind of steer the conversation. I didn't say anything. I Sandra's said. Going, uh, Sandra's, Sandra's giving me a round of applause. That was fully me, that. to be fair. That was what? Yeah. That was fully me, Do you have something you'd like to share with the group? Do you have a question on Jake's ass? No, he's well-dressed though. Oh, okay. That means big dick. You know, <laughs> here what, we which go. side you dress to? That's what they say. When they ask you what side your dick is hanging, it's what side yeah. do you dress to? Yeah, that's so old school. I need to buy a suit, by the way, for a what? Oh, Black Tux is helping us out, right? Don't we have Black Tux coming for, for the what? bar? Where Joey and I are hosting the red carpet for the bar school. I'm not awards. wearing. I'm wearing something very secretive. Yeah, for the bar school awards <laughs> on August 20th. I love the Black Tux though. Is that going to be broadcast on Barstool.tv? I, I don't know imagine. what the. Yeah, probably. I would imagine. Yeah. Well, your girls are going to be on the red carpet, so make sure you keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Um, but yeah, that'll be a fun weekend golf. It's going to be a thousand million degrees. I saw something that the UN said that we're global warming is over and now we're in global boiling, which makes sense because it's like 95 fucking degrees. Well, what out. can we do to change it? Should I recycle that cup? You should, re- you shouldn't recycle that look. <laughs> so that, that's, that's Mama, she's wearing, she's wearing a sage short. Yeah. She's wearing a sage bare bottom. <laughs> let's see how many, and let's see how many name dropping companies we've done so far. Yes. Can we do a count of that? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> we've done Roback. We've done Tom's, Bacon Up. Bacon Up. Blackstone. Ke- Kerrygold Butter. Kerrygold Butter. Tart. Todd Snyder. Todd Snyder. Uh, what's the place you got your hat? Oh, suck. Culture Kings. <laughs> Culture Kings. Black the Black Tux. Tux. Proper Wild. Cabo Wabo Tequila. Um, this is the, sto- the shore store where we got where we got our t-shirts. 
The man on Seventh. <laughs> I shout out a man on Seventh Avenue. Sandra, Sandra, yeah. Sandra for Paris. Thank you, Bloomingdale's. Bloomingdale's. My essay, Bloomingdale's. This is a, <laughs> the look at that. That's eleven. Can we do Zach Bass's ass? Jake Bass's cakes. <laughs> Jake Bass's cake company. Anyway, uh, we're talking about the golf course I was at. What are we talking about just now? We were talking about global warming, but I was going to let that lead into something that we both brought up before yes. the show, which is this man um, who is a U who is a. Government whistleblower. Now, stay with us. This isn't <sighs> political. I know all the things. Government whistleblower is now testifying in Congress. Congress. Uh, this is not. This is not a YouTube thing. This is like fucking at the White House. That I'm surprised that you, that fucking lib. No, I can't say that we're on YouTube. I'm surprised that they're even <laughs> showing this. But he had testified that. Uh, basically, aliens are real. He was in the Navy in 2004. Four. He was working- There's a tic-tac in the air. <laughs> exactly. He was working as part of this like UFO retrieval, like secret team. And he said that there were these flying devices that would completely hover in category four hurricane level winds. They would then accelerate to supersonic speeds. One of them crashed and they retrieved the device. And when asked what was inside the device, who was piloting it, he said, I can't say. And the person said, well, was there, were there human pilots? And Bi he said, biologics. And yeah, and he <laughs> said there was, there was biology in there. There was biologics. Meaning, long story short, you got through that fucking thing. There was aliens, which is something that well, I am, uh, have never once ever cared about. But now that it's coming out, it makes me wonder, A, why is the government releasing it now? Conspiracy theory, shout out macro dosing. They're trying to distract us. And B, what the fuck are we going to do if we get invaded by aliens? I'm excited. You are. Talk to me. A little bit excited. Okay. I mean, it's, 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 you have Hell to understand, um, um, first of all, Americans first and foremost, and then just humans, they are so conceited that we're the thing that we're, we're the end all and be all of everything. And this, we are this, the tiniest speck of fucking pepper in the universe. Of the universe, it's, tr it's trillions and trillions of light years away. There's billions and billions of other planets. You think that Amer American... America and God and Jesus and fucking don't say the, we the, don't. the fucking earth is the fucking only fucking thing in this in the entire universe. Everyone's so fucking entitled. Well, they asked. They asked. No, we are nothing. There, there's billions. There's, there's just like this, even better and huger things in earth out there. Life everywhere that we never can even see. There's no way to even get there. There are billions and billions of layers away. What's a what the fuck so, is a light year? Light years is it's like how you manage. Can Space you pull time. up the guy who who did this just so I can show? So of course not the only life. Of course not the only life on fucking in the, in the universe. This, this universe is Earth is a fucking a piece of pepper. Well, I believe in creationism. So for me, it's science is kind so of so anyway. Of course, there's aliens. But so, but the thing is, they're saying a lot of people are saying that a hot picture. Of them. There's a pictures. I mean, there's a there's a podcast we listen to. I forget the name of it. Um, that <laughs> says that they have the government has these the, the aliens in in their custody. I believe they no, do. No, they definitely do. They do have them. And the, the fact is they are not from another planet. They're from another dimension. They're saying these are humans in the in the future. They're coming back to warn us. I think that, yes. Let me ask you this. I don't know if I buy it. I, I do. I'm just going to be honest. They, they, there's, there's deep dives. The guy that was, the guy that has a podcast was sitting behind this guy in the court. The guy who, was, who runs this podcast is sitting guy behind this guy in the court. He's testifying. He's with these people. They're from another dimension, and they're coming back to warn us about what's happening, they let, said. Let me ask you about, this. about nuclear things and about other Earth if aliens, and weird shit happening. If aliens came down, who should be the ambassador for the human race? Not I mean, from America. No one. I think- I mean, are we going Oprah? The, are the, we going? No, I think a Japanese Biden. person. Why I think a Japanese scientist. Why a Japanese? They, see, they just seem the most, out of, in the entire world, who do you think the most, <laughs> who do you think the most trustworthy, smart person is? I, th I don't think they're from America. I think they're from like, probably like, a, like an, Iceland, an Icelandic fucking biologist or some like guy from, no, some guy need, from ja J Japan. You don't need someone who's smart. You need someone who's like respected. Like you need someone who can represent all of the human race. Like who, if you think anyone in the world, who's the most famous person in the world? LeBron James? Does LeBron do it? No, fuck no. Who's oh more famous God. than LeBron? I think it's- uh, Taylor Swift? Tila Tequila. Tila, we have Tequila. <laughs> also, you want someone who you can sacrifice. So who are we going to send out there who could potentially be killed? Ooh, that's actually a good question. Like, I know. What were you going to say, Marty? Like who is like the most yeah. respected person, but also like we wouldn't like miss necessarily? Respectable, but also dispensable. Right, right, right. No, no, can't they, should, the they can't be American. American uh, is that's actually I don't hate that. I don't hate the rock being the choice. I think it's I think why? Because I wouldn't miss him. I would, but I don't think <laughs> not a politician. 
Ugh. I mean, not a dictator. Do we have Kim Jong Un? Maybe figure it out if he's so alive and kicking. AOC. AOC. That's actually not bad. <laughs> well, I think they're distract. Their the government is distract. Something is anyway. So they now. have the spaceships, and what they're saying is they're doing reverse engineering on them because they said they said, "Can you can we defend ourselves if there if these if these aircrafts came at us?" The answer and he goes, is no. absolutely absolutely not. The technology that these these things have are so many fucking like years in advance, millions and years in advanced technology that we can't even they can't even fathom how it's breaking boundaries of of. Uh, of uh, what is it? Ethics of gravity and of ethics. Whatever. No, you know what I mean. What was it called? Uh, oh, I, I mean. So anyways, they're physics. saying these machines are the machine and technology they have. We can't even begin to fathom how they have created this because it's breaking all the boundaries of science. Well, let's just so say this. So they have but every question that they asked him, like that was like anything specific. He'd just be like, oh, I can't say that here. I'll have to talk to you later. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I buy this guy. It's a dog and pony show. The yeah. whole thing is just a what? dog and pony show. We don't because know they've they had are. them. They've, they've had them for years. Yeah, the, the government That's the story, likes. The, but yeah, the government. Of course they did. That's what the fucking whole thing is. And they have the, the bodies. They're doing science projects on them, finding out what they what they're doing. <laughs> and the, the the spaceships are trying to reverse it and see what how they figure how they made this technology. And that's it's all from the future. They're from another dimension. They're yeah. not from another planet. Yeah, they were. They're they're from the Earth, and they're some. They're so far into the future. That okay. They so back long story short, got you get you think the aliens are real. They I'm not. I know they're real. Like we said, like Sandra just said, we're we're a piece of sand on a fucking beach. Of course, there's fucking there's bigger, huger planets and everything. You know, it's what we I don't believe it. that's not really the question though. The no, question though is like yeah. if they could come here, like I think eventually, I think unannounced the technology, and like unrecognized, which that part is what makes me extremely. Skeptical. I don't think I don't think they would. I think you would see that they fucking look like different. I don't. Th I think if they have the technology to build these things that can stop and go against hurricanes and fucking accelerate really fast these ufos i think that they have the technology to create a prosthetic to walk around like looking like a human don't you yeah but why would they want to look like a human humans are hot i you know who i like right now guy or girl weasels weasels Weasel's my new favorite animal i had a dream about them last night a weasel yeah it's like a little it's like <laughs> it's like a ferret an otter and a hamster mixed together it's so fucking cute i like ferrets yeah. Oh, disgusting. I bought weed from a guy in uh, college that had a ferret, and like we always got to play with it when we went over there. Dave Sokol looks like he has ferrets. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't he? Doesn't he? You know, it's a fun. If anyone here had a ferret, I bet he's, he's had Sokol. an exotic pet before. Yeah. Oh, he definitely yeah. has some he's exotic had pets. A cockatoo. Yeah. You know, it's a really. I've had a cock or two. <laughs> okay. Hey, oh, see. <laughs> uh, thank you. You know, it's a fun game to play. It's where you see a picture of someone and you describe what animal they are. Yeah. What is Dave Sokol? Dave Sokol is a cockatoo. No, a cockatoo. No, the bait is you either look like a rat. Or a frog. Or a frog. I'm what a is frog, what is for Mar sure. What am I? I'm a some rat. sort of, no, I'm some sort of bird. I'm definitely some sort of yeah. stork because I have the nose. I'm okay. a frog if I'm not, I'm not a rat. You're, no, you're not. Marty's a, he's I'm, a I'm frog. A rat. I'm a rat. You're a, no. A rat. No, I think you're rounder than, I think, I think yeah. like pointy is like, you're a rat. You're both rat. Rat, rat frog. I'm a frog. Thank you. Let's play the game where it's just any random animal. Okay. Uh, what am I? Start with me. Be as mean as you want. Marty's a warthog. Marty's Pumbaa. I don't like that. Uh, that's, that's true. <laughs> you are, you're, a little Pumbaa. you're a little Pumbaa. I would be. You are a. Like a sleepy bear. Like a koala I was going to say grizzly bear. Oh, you're a, a oh. Japanese panda. I wish. Oh my God. Thank you. You are the ones yeah, that like that's fall over the bamboo. The red yeah, ones? Yeah, me falling down. Yeah. Red panda? No, I'm not that cute. Yeah. Can you pull up yeah, large right. stork? That's what I am. Dave Sokol is a cockatoo. I don't want to talk about I'm suing um, Big Cat. Let's stick with this for like okay. five minutes. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's a, that's literally, that's, yeah, that's actually bad. me. That's I think his face is a little too too round for you. I think yours is much more beaky. Go to <laughs> <laughs> Go to that's not, that's it's, a round, it's a rounded beak. Yours has a, a, a sharp point. That, that thing there, the white thing with the blue the blue sock. Right, no. Up one middle and row, over the right. That one to the right. Yeah. Right, right, right. No right. more, more, over. Oh. That thing. That's, that's me. <laughs> now that's too pointy. The legs are too muscular for you. <laughs> <laughs> now the shade will come. Now I take back, Panda, and I raise you. And I raise I'm not, you. I'm that bear, bear that's on the internet crawling out of the cave like, like, like 10 years later after hibernation, not knowing where the fuck he is. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's I know you what you're after a Xanax. I'm trying to think, what are you? You, I hate that Japanese panda is so great, but it just might be. No. I am a little slothy, but I'm much cuter than yeah, a sloth. Like just fatigue, doesn't want to 
My face. Let Let's me wrap up the gym last week. Thank Marty, get, give us a person from the office and we'll say what they are. Oh. Uh, someone distinct. Someone distinct. Uh, I know. Nick. I just Nick Tarani. Hold on. Who? Nick, Nick Tarani. What is Nick Tarani? He's a little slithery. Nick Tarani might be like a, a reptile. Something a little nerdy. He could be a reptile. Yeah. He could be like a dragon. <laughs> oh my God. A uh, kimono dragon. Yeah, that could be good. You would say Nick Tarani is a cat. Ooh, alley yeah, cat? yeah. No, but it's it's looks more than personality. Looks. I think Nick Tarani could be an alley cat. He could be a tabby, a brown haired short tabby. <laughs> what about Fasoli? We know what Fasoli is. Please, oh, delicious. Oh God, what is Fasoli? Joey ran up to him today. He goes, "Let me rub your legs." <laughs> I'm out. I missed him. And then I saw him take one leg. He put it right in his locket, right around his neck. Fasoli some sort of bear, obviously. And then we have the Clemmers of the world. Clemmer is- Oh, he's a, he is a he's lizard. A, one of the tall- He's a lizard? Giraffe. Lizard. He's Giraffe. A, he's a <laughs> lizard for sure. A gecko? <laughs> Gerard, or he's a lizard? No. Clemmer is a lizard. Clemmer is a lizard. Um, Alex Bennett's a fucking pig. <laughs> <laughs> a warthog. Woodruff's, Woodruff's a, a, an earth, a, a dirt. Earthworm? A cockroach. An no. Earthworm. No. No, Jordan Woodruff actually has. She's something Japanese. She's, so, she be, she's, she's very in like cute. Asia. Yeah. She she's, she's, she's a red panda. You know what she is? She's a chow chow that's that's shaved up to look like a panda. Yeah. Or like a, or, um, a Pikachu. So what's that animal from Madagascar? Pikachu? Oh, I know like? what you're talking about. The animal from Madagascar. The flying, uh, a flying sugar, a sugar, fl- a sugar flyer. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, she's a, a sugar flyer. A sugar glider. A lemur. A lemur. A lemur. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. A lemur. A lemur. <laughs> Let's do like two more, and then I have to talk about how Sandra bullied the fuck out of us yesterday on on phone. What about who is um? Uh, PFT. Oh, these oh, are something shady. So good. Something. <laughs> like a lion. Look up, look no. up. Yes, PFT could be a, no. P, PFT is the Wizard of Oz lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up on two feet. PFT is for sure the Wizard of Oz lion. I need a heart. Uh, What's Billy Football? Something. A boar. Uh, no, he, Billy Football is like a mountain a lion or like a gray wolf. A wolf. He's a wolf for sure. Yeah, a big, strong. No, I gray think he's wolf. more. He's more mountain lion because he has that neck that comes down. You know what I mean? Like look up a bobcat. Google mountain lion. A bobcat. Billy a bobcat. A Poomer. Mountain lions are cool. That's Billy. Stop. Oh my, he's That's so hot. Billy. What's Ebony? A bad bitch. <laughs> Clip that. Clip that. Thank you. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> he was hot. Oh my God. You yeah, don't, think, cat, you don't really, think cats are hot? I don't know. I'm not. If, that was, if, if we were animals, that, that wouldn't be a hot guy version. If, that, if, if we were animals, <laughs> that guy would be fucking hot. I don't think they're hot. I think their cats are sexy. You know what I mean, though. If we if, I, if yeah. we were animals, you wouldn't you wouldn't say that that's like the most beautiful guy in the world. Uh, I think Black Panther is harder than a mountain lion. Me and Nicole have this thing where we can look at animals like like at, like cats and like say, "Oh my god, he's so hot!" I'm, I'm intimidated by them. Sometimes I'm intimidated by good looking animals. I like I think they're gonna judge me. Like, oh my god, this guy's so hot. He's gonna like think I'm fucking some scrub, some fat scrub, and like look at me. <laughs> you never feel that way when looking at animals. Not no. at animals, no. no. They no. say people look like they're animals. Like people who get the dogs. Like I saw some fucking pig walking this little nasty little shih tzu down the street yesterday and I actually sent a picture of it to Zach. I go, it looks exactly like it. Was it him and, and uh, it was and, him and, and Goose. And, and Goose, yeah. Goose. <laughs> Goose is in timeout today for the first time ever. He ate an entire bag of sunflower seeds, ripped apart um, a thing of silverware, like plastic silverware. So he's in the crate and he'll probably shit it out. I was going to bring him to the show today, but I couldn't convince Zach to do it. Who's one more that we can do? We have a lot of fucking freaky looking people around here. I could see Keegs being some like a lemur almost. Keegs but like a leopard. Be in a, in a, some, some kind of, um, what's like one of those monkeys Something that that's kind of very like slim, slim, and, slim and, and has those curly tails? Spider monkeys? Yes. Yeah, something like a, like, like, a, like a really cute like face, but it's like yeah. they're very curly tail and like they're we're, orangey. We're so afraid to get Keegs' wrath. We're being so. <laughs> no. We're so like, oh, the nicest thing. I love Keegs. What's Kirk Minahane? What's Gunny Balls? Oh, Gluddy Balls is some sort of portly sea animal. A I mean, like Andy Reid. Like is, a sea lion. Andy Reid is a walrus. Yeah. Everyone knows yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dana Beers. Beers is, Beers is Baloo the Bear from the Jungle Book. <laughs> that's the most, actually, that's true. What's Marty Mush? 
Oh, Marty Mish is a, some type of um, arachnid. Mm-mm. I would say I would say <laughs> oh, Madagascar. Oh. So I'm going back to Madagascar. I would say something like a zebra, maybe. Marty could be a zebra. Yeah, that that tracks. something like tall and like. You know, the thing is, Marty has limbs, so you're going to want to put him in the chimp in the chimp family of some sort. But he's too thin. Chimps are round in the body. Yes. He's very linear. Maybe linear. he's an emaciated chimp. Baboon. A, a baboon. <laughs> he could be a baboon. Stop. Can you get that hockey off the screen? I'm going to get sure he's boned up from the thing. Well, that was fun. Sandra, maybe we can match those up in some sort of graphic. Um, I was going to bring Goose here today, but I didn't. I asked, Sandra said she was walking He had a rough home. week in the city. He said the rough- He, he got, got attacked <laughs> outside. He got jumped outside outside the building. But that's a bit, that's a bad neighborhood. I don't know how you guys live over there. I know. It's really hard to do. Um, we thought we had priced everyone out, but we didn't. Did Sandra do something to you yesterday? Did she do bullying to you? I didn't talk to Sandra yesterday. Did I? Sandra goes, I have never seen a human laugh as hard as Sandra pulls me into her room, she goes, oh. she goes, I'm doing something. I go, what? She goes, sit here, pulls her camera out. She tried to make me spell words for like a spelling bee. She was giving me the hardest fucking conscientious Ooh, I could, I could do that out. Try and rip Conscientious? Con yeah. C can I, can I C O N S C I. Oh, it's harder than it o looks. Yeah, no, I'm I'm lost there. Can I do a simple one for the group? And I, I was dumbfounded yesterday when I figured this out. How do you spell Caesar salad? Caesar salad. Caesar. C A E S. How'd you say it, C E A S E R. No. S A R. The only one to write is is him. S A E. It's S A E. I was trying to type it into the food yeah. thing to order Caesar salad. Yeah, it's C A E. Girl dinner. It's that's S A E. Not that's not true. Is it it's Caesar salad? S A E. How come everything is C A E? C-A-E. We said C-A-E. Not C. You said C-E-A-S-A-R. Oh, and that's E before A except after S. You know how I knew it? I, you know how I'm so much Julius fun with the, the trend right now? It's called Girl Dinner. It's on TikTok. And I think it's so funny. I have a lot of girlfriends in my life, so I know how girls eat. And I like, it's just the funniest thing. They eat the most random pile of shit, like, and then they make it dinner. And they puke it up. But my <laughs> ultimate girl dinner, and this is the most satisfying dinner you can ever have, or lunch or whatever. Girl, a meal. load? No. Caesar, chicken Caesar salad. Crispy, crispy French fries and an ice cold fountain diet coke. Oof, is the perfect meal. You get the meat, you get the, the crunchy freshness, you get the, the savory, salty hot bite. You get a refreshing, bubbly coke. It is the best meal. Try it right now, girls. Today, make it an opinion to make have a girl dinner, Joey's girl dinner. Get a Caesar chicken Caesar salad, French fries and diet coke. You're gonna like what you see. I guarantee it. Those are good. You know, we had. You I know, want this. That's what we should have for lunch. How good those fries we had in the Cape were actually really good. Yes, those were great. And Nana was a little bit apprehensive about it because it was we were at some like. A family place, but that was their fries, fries and a good. Caesar salad were fucking. That's phenomenal. what I want right now. But I have to film today, so just give us a word, Sandra. Just any spelling word right now, so we can go head to head. When does that come out? I have to film him today, and then I can. Post I'd be honored if you'd film him right now, trying to spell. Maybe on the show. Maybe the listeners at home can can try and spell along with us. Then they're not going to watch it because they're going to get their. Yeah. If you can get oh, you, you get the, you get the cow for. <laughs> Well, put your face up a butcher's ass. You get the cow for free. Shout out Chris Farley, Tommy boy. Um, give him like one or two words. We don't have to. I'll give you a word. First word, cat. H-O-T. Excellent. Um, Second word. Wait, this is a phrase. Okay. Spell. Trump. Wait, hold on. I'm with Sandra right now? Yeah, yeah. Sandra, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll give him a word that I gave you yesterday. Aren't you going to record me? No, I'm going to do the actual search of Oh. Spell she said spell definitely. Oh, God. I got the <laughs> See, this is harder than I thought. Definitely. We should do challenges like this every week. Yeah, okay, every finally. D E F I N E T L A Y. That's not it. No, it's not. It's not, right? No, no. How do you it's spell it? Wait, don't tell him because we're going to do the we're going to do the circle. Can I just do it because we yeah. Okay, definitely. D E F I N I T E L Y. I didn't get a single one Finny, of these Finny. words right. Finny, Finny. Fitty. Finny Pizza in Williamsburg. Uncle D was just doing the one out in, at Mount Talk. Good stuff? Yes, it's the same owner as Misi and same owner as, God, as, um, was good. Oh my as the other one that you can't get into. Misi was so fucking phenomenal. So, do you have any other plans this weekend other than getting Beyonce? my knee fixed because the big cat injured my nerve? 
Yeah, let's talk about that for a second. On Wednesday's show, Joey did a shot of Ozempic, but he gave it. It to was me. not Ozempic; it was Cosentin. Because I did ask. I, I replayed the tapes because I was trying to take him to, to trial. But my, my my on my team, my my attorney on my team said he said he didn't want to do it. Yeah, so so I forced him to do it so I can't sue. But I did get a nerve injury from him injecting me. So he injected you on your left. Remember, knee? I said that I had a, that felt like it was a rubber band snapping on my knee. So when I pressed the button, that's how I learned it was that. So I pressed this. That's when I feel it pull. When I press this. It pull, the, the, the string pulls. What the fuck is up with a bruise on your leg? Where? What's that from? I went on a roller coaster yesterday. What? I was wiling on a roller coaster, like a big upside down, like fucking huge drop. Was it wood? No, it was, it was a real roller coaster. I was higher than a kite. On what? No, physically. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I go, I go, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so that's a big wink for yeah. everyone at home. Um, but I was, I was turned up and I was with like, you know, I felt like I was back, a school girl again. I was, I was on the boardwalk with all my friends that's and cute. just, just having fun. There was like, you know, all these cute boys around. It was just like, you know, we were just like, like play, play, um, playing games and winning prizes. And how, um, you were in Seaside? Seaside Heights, New Jersey. We went to the, to, the, to the shore. So I had to do the Jersey Shore press yesterday. I was with the whole cast of Jersey Shore. They're coming on. The girls are coming on next week. August 3rd. August we'll 3rd, they're that coming out. on. Or August 3rd, the show airs. August 3rd, the show airs. They're coming us on the 3rd as well. Oh, perfect. So maybe, so it'll probably be the week after that. Girls, we're having a girls only Jersey Shore. We're having uh, Sammy we Sweetheart. She's back. We're having Snoopy from the, her show and Jay Wow. She's got new brand new titties. Jay Wow got t- new tits? She went from a G to a C. When did she? And they're get, perfect. When did Dr. Jutella. Dr. Tussell did them. When did she get those? Oh, a couple months I mean, ago. I can ask her next week. Jenny's getting a fresh set. I mean, Nicole's getting a fresh set. We're all getting fresh titties. I'm getting my scars removed. And that's because there's a life there's saving a, device. There's a lifespan. Uh, she had a pacemaker put in the left tit. There's a life. 10 years. A lifespan yeah. on tits. 10 years, 10 years. 10 years. Every 10 years. We need to get this port. Do this into the camera. Let me say. I'm still good. Did you get refreshed? I get refreshed all the time. Let me say that. <laughs> Should I. You got fucking craters. That's what the aliens right. are hiding. And them fucking four. You look like extraterrestrial, right? I look like ET. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a fucking. I'm worried about doing it because I have bad skin, like around my forehead. Oh, it what doesn't do you mean matter. bad skin? Like I have eczema, and like I like do a good job of like hiding it, but like it comes out of my forehead a lot. So like I'm worried about. It'll it. It'll probably help. Maybe. What's eczema? F- what is it? Just blotches of skin? Yeah, just, but yeah, just like. I have a stamp on my hand. <laughs> we have a brand new partner here at Out and About, and that is Shopify. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. Whether you're a garage entrepreneur or IPO ready, Shopify is the only tool you need to start, run, and grow your business without the struggle. That's right. Shopify puts you in control of every sales channel. So whether you're selling satin sheets from Shopify's in-person POS system or offering organic olive oil on Shopify's all-in-one e-commerce platform, you're covered. And once you reach your audience, Shopify has the internet's best co- converting checkout to help you turn them into browsers into buyers. It's incredibly easy to use. You've actually used Shopify in the past. You've to talked sell about all my this. merch. I was selling door hangers. I was selling stickers. No matter what you're selling, Shopify makes it so easy. And I, I, I feel like a web developer. I, was, no, I really did. I, I was on there. It was so easy to, to like set up your your, uh, your financial information. Um, checkout was so easy. You got every all the emails and orders are set up. It's so easy. I felt like I was marketing a small business, which I was. Shopify actually powers ten percent of all e-commerce in the United States. Think about that number: ten percent of all e-commerce in the United States, which means you can trust them. It means they know what they're doing, and it means that it's incredibly easy to use. It's a true global global force. I mean, I'm talking Allbirds, Rothbys, Brooklyn, and millions of entrepreneurs all over this country. And 170 other countries use Shopify. Plus, Shopify's award winning help is there to support your success every step of the way. This is possibility powered by Shopify. That's right. So sign up for $1 per month trial period at Shopify.com slash out and about, all lowercase. Go to Shopify.com slash out and about and take your business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash out and about. I'm debating on whether or not I'm allowed to say something right now, if it'll upset my sister or not. Is she a fat pig? No. Oh. Uh, she got her engagement photos done and she's been floating the idea. I don't know how seriously. She of lesbianism? Me, of lesbian. I was taking a dip in the lady part, <laughs> of getting a nose job before her wedding. But how it's about a, it's a wedding? year out. It's in September 24. She wants that and she wants lips. And well, maybe, do it now maybe because it's got to it's, it's settle in. It's, well, that swell, the swelling stays on for a year. So she's going to do it, do it now. Does it do a full year? It's pretty much. We know. We've had surgeries before. You it's got a, a nose job? No, but I've had, I've had body stuff and the swelling doesn't go down for like at least a year. How long was the bottom surgery? I'm still engorged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. Is, is, that, is she on your team? This is my, my team. <laughs> Go for trash. Um, I don't know if that's, a, if that's something like if you were getting married to someone 
generally speaking. And she they said she to wants plastic it. surgery before the wedding. Would you she be said like, she okay. wants it? Yes. I think she wants to do it. Do it before the fucking wedding, yeah. She can look at the back of her photos and hate them. My friend is getting married. Then do it after, then she get, get do it after the wedding, then she has to look at her photos all the time, not feeling her, her most confident? No. Yeah. Oh, I love how just you you're the most supportive like person when it comes well, to Well, I'm just saying, do it now. Don't, don't, don't sec don't second guess anything. If you're thinking about doing something, just fucking do it. The aliens are coming for us. There's no time. And we're a speck of pepper in the fucking pepper mill. Who fucking cares? Just do it. I think, I don't know if like how serious she was because my mother's like, absolutely not. But I think, fucking do it. I think lips, you lips are less extreme than I wish I would have, I wish I would have got my tits done at 13 years old. My life, my life would have, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be sitting <laughs> here right now. Tits I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Why? Because I'd be fucking Brad Pitt. <laughs> I'd be, I would have been so confident. The confidence I would have had from a young age, me being fucking, God put the titties on my thing to humble me. Because if that, I, I probably have, I'd be dead, dead of AIDS. I'd be fucking everyone in the, during the AIDS crisis. <laughs> I'd be to, I'd be topless everywhere, getting getting railed by by groups of AIDS infecting men. I would have been so sexually promiscuous if I had the confidence. Can we just pretend you ha you got around a little in the nineties? No, as part of your growing. I up. never got around. This is not shade. This is saying everyone when they're gay and they come out goes through a little period, a little ho they go through their their hoe era. I never did. Never I, I I tried to marry every guy that looked at me. The man who had a stool set up in the eagle never went through a hoe era. I was just about to say you had a dick, a, dick sucking you had a dick station. Sucking. <laughs> It was, it was, I was on a staircase in the back of the Eagle. Apologies With for the With condoms location. on. You, you sucked a raw cock every once in a while. So give us your body count. Like, and anal sex? Yeah. Under 10. Okay. Yes. No. Yes. Now, give, she said give us your body. Now, let's do dick sucking number. And it's easily The limit does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> The limit, right, it's, it's a trick. It's a we're trick talking question. cab drivers. Yeah. <laughs> it's a trick question, my dear. Or yellow cab, yellow cabs are Ubers. Yeah, livery will liver, fluctuate. Liver, livery drivers. <laughs> livery. Now I'm talking in the back of the Amazon delivery driver. Oh Hon my Hon god! Hon ice cream truck drivers. <laughs> Which one? Now we're talking about me, me and Peppermint in the back of in the back of fucking Christopher Street. <laughs> me and Feathers. Yes, me feathers. and Feathers in the back in the in the, in the, in the Kenny Sharp room of the tunnel. God rest her soul. God rest her soul. Mm -hmm. um, that's so funny. But I think, I think that Nana has a past, and I think that I always am a little curious about Nana's past. What it was in the I, you think '90s club? Shout out to all these Gen Z fuckheads who think they're these like clubbers inventing this style. Blah blah blah. No, the '90s invented the Gen Z. The '90s invented the club kids style. They invented the attitude. They invented the Luke. They invented it all. And our dear, dear Nana was, was there part of that. She was now. She not, was part I, of it. Now I've, 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 I've lived in four generations. <laughs> <laughs> I have. So she was actually. I'm wicked. Four, I lived in four decades: '70s, '80s, '70s, '80s, '90s, 2000s, 2010s. No, you lived in five decades. Oh my god, five decades. So I've been in four, right? '80s, '90s. That nose is in the future, though. That <laughs> nose. Well, this is Light actually- years ahead. Yeah, this is pulling the signal in. They can see this from fucking space, the aliens. Why don't you and your sister get a double a double, a, I could, a double dose? I could not get a nose job. I would look so different. Get a, get a snatched um, LaToya Jackson nose job. I would I would go Michael. I would go LaToya. This thing would be caving in on my fucking face. <laughs> look at this you from the side. Marty, zoom in on this fucking beak from here. Look at this. You think I could get a nose job? No, 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 no. It I would have to different. maintain a hump if I were to do it. I couldn't get no hump. I get inverted. I get a really feminine nose job. I would look like a freak. Please do. If you pay for and get, it, I'll and, get and, it. Get, and, get, and get baby bangs. <laughs> I've had baby bangs my whole fucking <laughs> life. Look at these things. Um, I, you Would you pay for a nose job if I got it? You could do one it? piece of plastic surgery from me. You can choose, but you have to pay. And it can't be tits or bottom surgery. What are you giving me? BBL? Yeah, I would do I would do big ass injections, huge. Or ass I would do injections. I would do a neck and I would do a neck implants, make you have a three double chins. <laughs> <laughs> you give me the goblet. You look you look like you look like penguin from Batman. The, the foghorn. I I have penguins nose that hit too close home. Foghorn and leghorn. I wit I wit I wit I think I could. I would give you big lips. An attitude adjustment. Number one, a no, you don't really need any. You don't really need anything. Um, you're kind of snatched. Your yeah. body fits. You you fit. You're put together. You're fit. Now compliment me on something. I'll wait. I think that your sister is going to be beautiful at her wedding. That is the nicest thing I've ever heard. No, you notice I didn't give you a compliment. I know. I was, was going to gloss over. <laughs> what would well, give me a compliment? Give me one. Not you, a shady one. I want a real compliment from Joe. You're very tall. That's a that's an observation, not a compliment. We'll stick with this. I think that you look nice in sage green. <laughs> that's why I chose the color as well. <laughs> so one up. Bare bottoms. Shout out. That's They're 11. Super stretchy. That's 11. Can we do obsessions? 
Yes. Maybe we should do obsessions, then I can tell you about things. Okay, so let's do obsessions. Our first one is always what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it with the group, Marty. Be prepared. Okay. I'm gonna put you on the spot. All right. First obsessions is what's our category? Yeah. Category I mean, shows. is what is it? Shows. Shows. Oh my god. Go for it. You go first. Mine is on the gay serial killer on Netflix. Uh, as I interrupt, you start. Go you first. start. Go first. Yes. There is. What a is thing. it called? Um, can you Google HBO Max gay serial killer? I know this is. Sandra's picture pops up. <laughs> <laughs> she's out there slaying the queens for, the, she's, for her legacy she's she's a subway slasher yeah. <laughs> last call this is so last call when a serial killer stalked queer stalked queer what's it stalked queer, queer new, new york. york so american horror story the most recent one was about this new york city gay serial killer it's based on this and it's on hbo max it's a, a docu-series, and it's fucking fantastic. And guess where this guy would pick people up? And you already know. Closeted Queens, Upper East Side, what bar? Talk to me. Oh, is that the um, townhouse? Townhouse. It is fascinating. It's awesome. It's gripping. It's real, and it hits close to home. So if you need something to watch, last call when a serial killer stalked queer New York. What's your show obsession right now? My show obsession, I've been watching The Bear. Oh, I, I've heard mixed reviews. I'm having mixed feelings about it. Yes. I'm watching The Bear. I'm watching, um, um, oh my God. I'm hate watching and just like that by on HBO Max as well. <laughs> yeah, Roger Roger I, I came in. If I can murder Shay Diaz and I would I would die happy in prison. I would, I would, I would, I would happily serve my, 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 the rest of my life out in behind bars. Like, and sir? Just to murder sir? Shay Diaz. I want to fucking murder that. I don't thing. know who it is. It's a thing. It's an, it's a thing. I don't know who it is. It's a they. Who is it? No, okay. I want to murder Shay Diaz. It is, it's Miranda's dykey oh, girlfriend, look. boyfriend. It's she's it's the worst character ever created in history. It's the most, oh, I'm going to crawl out of my skin. But that's what you're watching. Yes. And you love it. I hate, no, I hate it. You hate, you hate watching. Hate watching it. Okay. I hate watch is a good watch. Marty, what's yours? Uh, I've been watching Righteous Gemstones lately. Oh, the that's funny. Uh, yeah, I couldn't it's a get good into show. season two. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I, it's worth giving it another try. I like Danny McBride's like the funniest person in the world. I love Adam Devine. Adam Devine. Yeah. Levine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam Devine. He he's was divine. here. Yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah I yeah. saw his dick. When? He's a movie out with his Yeah, dick he showed out. his dick in uh, that Netflix movie that they did. Yeah. Is his actual penis or was yeah. it prosthetic? No, his dick. Uh, no, it's a real dick. It was. Yeah. Was it large when it was soft and it wasn't real? No one is a little. No, no, one, no one's a reg- shower. It, was, it was regular. It was regular. Would you rather have a shower or a grower? I have a grower. Great. You have a shower. I haven't either. <laughs> she's, neither, she's neither a shower nor a grower. Sandra, are you, do you have a, a shower or a grower? Um, Sandra just doesn't. So, okay, just goes, let's talk about, not. let's talk about reading, honey. Yeah. No, <laughs> uh, let's talk about, um, what are you currently obsessed? This is after your restaurant, something you're loving to eat right now. Like, what are you obsessed with? Mine is fried shrimp. Fried do, shrimp, uh, fuck me in the ass. Can we, I love fried shrimp. You, I didn't think you were that big of an Asian food. That's not Asian. Food. Fried shrimp? Yes, fried shrimp, but I like mine with cocktail sauce. Talk to them. Taboo. Taboo. Lemon cocktail sauce. Some top tartar sauce, but I like my cocktail sauce. Um, my favorite fried shrimp. It's a place <laughs> called. It's. I think it's. An, I think it is an Asian style place. It's called. Yeah, that's an Asian thing, right? I mean, you, you can prepare it a bunch of. Different I'm going to tell you like this that. place. This is. If you want anything fried, this is a place to go. This place <laughs> is fucking insane. It's on the Upper East Side. And then hold on, just hold on with me, girls. It's. I'm going to tell you, it's worth it. They have fried shrimp there? Me and my boyfriend go there once a month. We love it there. So we have a date night there every month. It's very expensive. Yeah, it's Lobster is good. Last time I went there, I spent $700 on dinner. Just me, two of us. And we only got one appetizer. I'm only kidding. Not now. Here we go. Chicken Insider. It's called Chicken Insider. And it's on, I, know, I ordered on the Upper East Side. They have the best fried shrimp, Chicken Insider. Thank you. Um, and best fried food in general. Sounds Delicious. Delicious. Can I, Great can I sauces. pick a restaurant or does it have to be a food? Whatever. Food, whatever, whatever, whatever you love. Slamming down that gullet. I need to stop. Right now. Because it's getting bad. But if you're I'm going to know Sandra's too because Sandra has immaculate taste in restaurants and food. If you want to really eat some good Mexican food, Javelina. Oh. Where's this located? Yeah, I've had that. I've had that. Where's yeah. it located, please, for the group? A, they have an uptown, a downtown, and like a Chelsea, I think. We're it, talking New York City ladies. Yes, it is. I get it like twice a week. Havana's? Javelina. Javelina. Java. Javelina. Do they have real Mexicans in the kitchen? Um, you know Asians cook the best Mexican food? I beg to differ. 
That's what I've heard. I made that up. <laughs> um, no, it's fucking phenomenal. Mart- On Morticia, where do you, where do you, what do you want? Uh, so we had hot pot recently and like we've, I, I've gotten, we've gotten that like probably three times in the last like two Explains months or something everyone like that. what hot pot is. Not, I had a hot spot. I mean, maybe yeah. you do a better job of explaining it. It's like well, they put a big it's, pot it's, in the it, middle. And, a pot in the yeah. middle, which is boiling. It's usually beef stock, um, some head of a stock. And then you have an accoutrement of raw meats and vegetables in front of you that you take in your and chopsticks. Noodles. You wrap around Wagyu around your chopsticks, dip them in for a few minutes. It cooks the, the hot water, hot, hot broth cooks the um, vegetables and stuff. And, and you, you add all different broth. sauces, all different sauces. You dip them in. So like scallion sauce, ginger sauce, garlic sauce, hot sauce, chili, lime sauce, all the shit. You can make your own sauce. They make have like your a own sauce sauces bar. as well. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a take on Korean barbecue where you yeah. grill your meats. This is a, a, a pot where they have in the onoki mushrooms. There'll be Nyoki. bok choy. There'll be, there'll be um, you know, uh, fish cakes. There'll be... That actually was Sandra's middle name and co- uh, nickname in college, Fish Cakes. <laughs> fish Cakes. Sandra, what's your favorite? What are you eating right now? You can't say Morimoto. Mori, you, don't have, you don't have a mic. There you go. I won't say Nami Nori. This one's more Nami basic. Nori-yo. Um, I've been ordering it a lot because it's by my apartment. It's called El Rio Grande. They have the best garlic shrimp. And okay. they give you like 50 pieces of shrimp. It's crazy. Oh, fuck yeah. And shrimp it's like queens. 16 bucks. It's fire. Shout out to, what's it called again? El Rio Grande. El Rio Grande is garlic shrimp. Amazing. What's next? What's next? We have, we did Amazon. Shows. We did, yeah, let's do Amazon. Let me look up the last thing that I bought on Amazon. I think in terms of like deals. And mine's, shit. Not, mine's, mine's not Amazon. I found something new. I was at Nicole's house yesterday and I'm looking at all these cute shit. She has all these like, like cute little things for the kitchen. I was like, where are you getting all this shit from? She goes, oh my God, I got it on. I got to find the website on Timu. I was like, what's Timu? She goes, it's like a Jap, it's like a Chinese Amazon, but of like all cheap shit. It's like, it's like, it's the craziest thing. You can like literally anything on Timu. T E M U. Um, it's an app, and it's just like Amazon for like all different gadgets and housewares and clothing and what's the last everything. Timu. Oh, you know what I've been? Okay, so you have Timu. You know what I've been? Paintbrushes, Apple Watch things, sports bras. Well, so what's yours? Sh- sh- so this is nothing <laughs> to do with what we're doing. So what's what's your Amazon? My thing? Amazon thing is this new site called Timu. Got it. For okay. housewares. Timu for housewares. Or at Crocs, hair clips, magnets, gym shorts, f- silk flowers. We're just listing nouns let's that spe- are. Let's speed this up. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what mine is? Yeah. You talk, You actually turned me on to this. For Amazon. Or housewares too. We have to do housewares. Just, I don't have anything housewares. Just clothing on Amazon. I ordered, I Googled. Oh yeah. I put in gray sweat shorts. I have the most comfortable shorts in the world. Any kind of clothing on Amazon, it's going to be cheaper. And if you hate it, you just return it. Check it out. Clothing on Amazon if you haven't done it yet. It There's like Amazon anything. specific influencers now that like all, yeah. Oh, yeah, all their shit. Them. Yeah. I, have, I have my storefront. <laughs> no, you do. Oh, I do. Yeah, okay. um, mine is for furniture. So I'm starting to look for furniture. I'm starting for my, my big, my descent into my new, my new life. And I found the coziest couches. It was a random, I randomly found it. For, it's in Florida, this store. It's called Potato Barn. They have the coziest looking couches. That's where I was conceived. The Potato Barn, and they, they're online. You can find them on Instagram. They have the coziest couches. These things are like, when I took oversized, these oversized cozy, cozy couches, um, I saw them like, oh my God, I need to have a Potato Barn couch. Fantastic. And they, like, they can make custom ones and they have all these different colors. Very cute for there. And then for frag- home fragrance, Coastal Brazil. It's a skincare line. They have this candles, a candle, but they also have this resin rock. I told you, it's two almost. It's like one hundred fifty dollars for this resin rock, and it's from it's from Brazil. And they, it's like a piece. It's a rock that you light on fire, and Ooh. it smells amazing. It's crazy, but it's spent one hundred fifty dollars on a rock, but still. <laughs> so Coastal Brazil and their body oil makes me want to makes you come. take a no. It makes me want to take a bath in it. Speaking, when's the last time you climaxed? Honestly, yeah. This morning. Really? Is that why you're so relaxed? I'm very soothed. I can see it in your face. Marty, what is your um <laughs> go-to home 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 product? I don't, I don't have that. I don't, I don't have buy that. home products either. Uh beauty product? I've got week? these new uh like instead of using sponges for dishes, it's like a little wand with a sponge on the end. Oh, fun. No, it just makes washing Changes dishes your way, life. makes it way more pleasant. Yeah. Change your life. Because you don't have to touch like bullshit sponge. I hate sponges. I got one of those similar. Some I got similar got one of those. Um, I've been trying to get into, I need, is it poor to use a washcloth in the bathroom? No. No, it's very nostalgic. I've heard that that was like white trash, like wa- washcloth. Some people just raw no, dog the highest, soap. The nicest hotels have washcloths. But I'm do, I'm trying to do, I want to get a loofah for my home thing. But I'm You like, don't have a loofah yet? I don't have a loofah. What do you I just wash do, your body with? Just fucking washcloth. And who, who washes, you have to wash your washcloth every week? Yeah, you fucking wring it out and then you do what a What color is the washcloth? How old? What color is it? 
it's like multicolors. It's like stripes on it. Ooh. Usually brown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else do we have going on? This has been fun. Yeah, I had a good, good time today. I'm yeah. sad that I have to leave right now, though. Actually, I have to go shoot something with my someone else on my team, Bella. We're shooting a um, new beauty a beauty segment today. It's going to be great. Oh, can I do one more free ad before we go? Only if I can do one. <laughs> oh, 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 don't go ad for ad for me. Um, Turo, the car company. That's I'm, our, excuse me. Oh, Turo. No, you're we're, Kite. We're Kite Queens. KiteQueens.com. Yeah. I'm doing Turo. I'm about to go pick it up. It's ah. like- <laughs> You see, having to go pick it up, that's why yours is worse. Exactly. Work. No, it's 31st and 6th. That's three blocks on Avenue. I can handle that. No, I like the lady coming on a scooter. Thank you. Yeah, have some fucking <laughs> Hyundai Sonata, Sandra Salanta come pick me up. No. I'm in a BMW, darling. Um, hopefully the Germans kill Jews. It's shot. So this is actually offensive that I'm in a BMW for Marty. Yeah. <laughs> so Marty, I would be actually honored to cancel. If yeah. that's kind of, if that's Tell us about Toro. Toro is Airbnb of cars, car rental. So if you could rent someone's car. People that buy these cars that can't afford them have to rent them out in order to keep to pay their car note. But I think people, it's so funny. I think people, so, and, and that's shade. And you can tell some of them, you're like, oh, this person just cannot afford this car. But some of them do it like a business. Like this guy's like, someone from my team will be there. I was like, who the fuck is your team? Is it Sandra or Bella from my team? Imagine. <laughs> it's Marty and Sandra. I was like, well, do they wear fucking t-shirts? How do I know? I just show up to an address and I hope to not And they're get Persian. Stabbed. That's how you know who it is. They are Persian. I know. That's, the Samir. Persians run that tour team. They the, run car rental, the car rental team. Persians, run, not Beyonce runs the world. Persians run the world. Um, I hope everyone has a really, really great weekend. Yes. What do you have to this weekend? I have to have, uh, I have to, <laughs> this is my last, this is my last We one. talk, we talk, we talk. I have to, you know what I have to do this weekend? I have Caviar Company Caviar. I miss National Caviar Day. It's another ad. No, it's not an ad. I'm just telling you. Yes. I'm having caviar. I, uh, my friends are in town. My friends, Eric and Aaron are in town from um, South Carolina. And we're going to do a little caviar tasting at my friend Leah's house. I'm going to see Beyonce on Sunday. So I've, 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 I've you know, I've a, yeah. I have a very exclusive weekend. Me and Sylves are going to be kikiing. We're probably going to meet up beforehand and pick out each other's outfits and stuff, braid each other's hair. Did you do, um, did you hire someone so you can put the caviar on them? Like they do body sushi? I have to, I got exquisite caviar though. I mean, sorry, I got exquisite glassware. I'm going to serve it on. Baccarat? No, it's, it's silver. I got it downstairs at one of those stores yeah. in, the, in, the, in the Tablescape district. <laughs> Marty, what are you up to this weekend? Wedding? Uh, no, I'm going to the, <laughs> LBI. Going to the shore again, yeah. Going to the shore. Go see yeah. my niece. Yeah. She works at a restaurant down there. It's such a free table. Restaurant. Like, it's well, it's restaurant? actually not that expensive. It's just it's hard to get a reservation. Well, not not if not if you're sleeping. Not with if you're not if you're not if you're pounding that fucking. <laughs> Stop. She's not eighteen. Oh, she oh. is. <laughs> you can pound her. She's eighteen. <laughs> Well, I want to say thank you for having me. This was so nice for inviting oh, me on the show. Yes, of course. Um, you can find me at Joey Camasta on Instagram and at Joey.Camasta on TikTok. Um, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Please, please, please spread the word about our show. We're we're on the cusp of becoming an emerging brand, and that's all that we want in this world. Well, maybe um, the aliens can fix it. Subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Uh, oh, and really quick. I did this last year. A friend of mine is a teacher and she gets switched grades every year and she's poor. So she needs like fucking like coloring books and shit. So you have five bucks to spare. There's a link in the description of this. Click that, um, donate something. And if not, you can just Venmo me and I'll be sure to go to tour. Barstool Pat, have a great weekend.